Aside from the fact that this episode followed the same trend of last week's episode and that it left us with a lot of questions and not so much of answers, it was pretty interesting to see an elaboration on uh, Ymir's past that she had always been lying to herself and that it's interesting how she took up this lying um, responsibility, so to speak, to protect others mainly. And um, that was a little interesting to see how her character developed around that, around lies um, more importantly, what I really want to know is, for instance, um, Bertolt, uh, mentioned something called the coordinate. Now, what the heck is the coordinate? They said, if Aaron isn't the coordinate, we can still continue going, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, wait, the coordinate, what is that? Again, we didn't get an elaboration on that, <laughs> but, um, we, uh, heard about it. Furthermore, it seems to me like Ymir's, um, what they said was that Ymir was roaming outside the walls for years, which is very, very interesting. She was roaming outside the wall as a Titan for years, and then, you know, she reverted back to human form, seemingly after she ate Reiner and Bertolt's friend. Why is it that after she ate that one human, she reverted back to normal? I have no idea. Notice that Marcel was a kid and not an actual adult. Did that have something to do with it? Another thing is that it seems like in time form, you uh, cease to age because Ymir was wandering, or wandering outside the walls for 60 years. And, you know, she came out same age and everything, and then she continued to age. So that's very interesting if that's the case. Um, I'm not really sure, though. Like, it, it, it le like, out of everything we've really learned, it seems to me that Titans could very well be humans. You know, we have Connie's mom, which they went back to the village, and Connie's mom, or the Titan that was there looked like Connie's mom by the face. Again, that Titan's creepy as hell. <laughs> like, well, we've already seen it before, but looking at it again, it's just creepy. It's creepy seeing it sit there because, you know, I just feel like, man, it's going to spring out and attack them at any given time. But, um... It, it seems like that is very well the case if you think about it. That time resembling Connie's mom, Ymir being a time for so long, then reverting back to human form. We don't really have an explanation of how it all works, but it's all connecting. It's all leading back into each other. And so I really hope that we get a solid confirmation on what exactly a Titan is. We've had, you know, hints here and there, and we actually have solid ground to assume that, hey, Titans are very well humans. You know, they resemble humans, and then we have Ymir's case. Then we have Connie's um, village as an example as well. So it, it, it's very interesting. And also, where does the Beast Titan fit into all of this? If they really don't have any knowledge of him, where did he come from? He came outside the walls, but exactly where does he fit? This episode, again, like I said, just raises a bunch of questions. There were some interesting moments like Aaron um, getting swallowed up by his emotions. He started to actually fight Reiner with freaking no hands. He started to beat the crap out of him with his elbows and arms. I was interested. It's like, dang, Aaron. Aaron's a soldier to the end. No matter what, he's not going to give in. So it was interesting to see Aaron's resolve. But, of course, you could expect that from a typical shonen protagonist. So it, nonetheless, it was, it, was a, it was a funny moment, more or less. And then Ymir, when she went crazy, and she's like, I'll make you up. Uh, I'll, um, I'll fight you right now if you guys don't go and get Krista. And I was like, dang, this is, this is crazy. Ymir doesn't care. And um, it's leading, it all led into what's going to be definitely, like I told you guys, it's going to be an explosive final season finale, I can tell. It really is. I'm going to have to read the manga ASAP after that. But pretty much, that was really about it for this episode. Again, more questions were raised. Um, you know, we had an elaboration on Ymir's past. We um, got some info as to how Ymir was there to kill Marcel. I believe that's his name, Bertolt Reiner and Annie's friends. We got a, um, there's this, whatever this thing is, a coordinate was raised. What is the coordinate? Um, who's the real enemy? Um, again, just a lot of questions raised, but as you can kind of get a feel for it, this episode really didn't give us much to chew on, but just a little bit more than last week's episode. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much about it, honestly. Really not too much else to discuss about this episode, other than, I mean, the animation was fine. It's been fine ever since. Setting was fine. I like the tone of the episode. I just wish we could have gotten more action. Like, I feel like they were still dragging it along in the forest episode, or in the forest scene, you know, like, cool, Aaron's mad, we know about that. I mean, just <laughs> get to the point already, or at least answer some questions, explain what the coordinate is, you know, just, just give us something. 
and I felt like it's they're all just they're, they were dragging this episode along and the last week's episode along so that you know maybe episode 11 and 12 can be a big bang like holy crap this is too much information I can't stand it all in all I enjoyed it I'd give it a I'd give it a 7 out of 10 honestly um eh, 7 to 7.5 it was a pretty decent episode. I just, I don't know, maybe there's a little bit of bias going on. I don't know. I just, I didn't really like the way it dragged on. Like, I guess last week's episode, I gave it a higher rating because, I don't know, maybe it was, it was fine, but this episode was redundant in that it still slowed down. It really didn't give us anything, and it just, I guess it makes me a little mad. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, I know I, I uh, uploaded last week's episode late, really, really late. So I encourage you to check out that. If you haven't seen my other reviews, check those out as well. And don't forget to click on the playlist if you want to watch them all in a row. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. This is Mysterious Man Toby signing off.